Hi, I'm Samantha Santana. Welcome to my handmade home in Los Angeles. I am a textile and wallpaper designer, and I design wallpaper for myself and other brands. People know me for color and a lot of plants, flowers. A lot of inspiration comes from nature, and I'm very proud of a lot of that work that gets featured in so many different magazines and publications. But I am also a homebody, so it's always figuring out how to bring nature back into the home. I originally tried to get into film and television. I got a degree in cinematic arts and fine arts, and I just was drawn back to design, and I really love home decor. And then it evolved into doing a few wallpapers and rugs, and it kind of grew from there. It kind of was a perfect fit. The first thing I want people to notice when they come into my home is the wallpaper and the shelf. This entryway used to be just a blank white wall, so we wanted to add some handmade character to the space and a place for us to display little artwork and decor pieces that we found at stores and thrift stores. In and out, because I'm an LA girl, why not? I mean, there's some Ikea up there too, but just cute things. I designed the wallpaper and installed it. It's very LA and very me. I've lived in Los Angeles County my whole life. So a lot of my wallpaper is Los Angeles desert themed. It has animals and fun shapes. A bobcat that used to visit our yard. Coyotes that used to come and try to eat my dog. There's a scrub jay right here. We made friends with one when we were in lockdown. And we used to visit a frog pond with my daughter, so some little froggies there. Just kind of like a mix of everything that was happening during a lockdown. And it's supposed to be more of a neutral, even though it's illustrated, it's supposed to be like a pattern that blends in, but still adds a pop to the wall. The shelves are designed by me and my husband. He built them, he's a very talented woodworker. We wanted it to look a little more craftsman-y, so we added a block bracket here. And this is made out of poplar heartwood. A lot of carpenters and woodworkers don't like it because there's variation in color. It's almost like a marbling, but we kind of like that because we like patterns and, and color. And I told him when it went up, I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's feeling like home. Like it feels like home now. The entry leads right into the open space, which includes living room, dining room, kitchen. One of the biggest design challenges for this house was the open concept. This space was a big white box. And this was a big design challenge because how do you separate the spaces and then also have all the patterns play off each other without overwhelming the space. And one way I did that was play with neutral patterns and colors with a lot of bold pops. Little touches of color, character, and design to make it feel more warm and happy, to just make it feel more like us. I want patterns everywhere, but patterns can compete with each other, so it's figuring out the balance between neutrals and natural tones with the pops of color. It's wild, but we are a loud family, and I feel like all the rooms are starting to reflect us. I don't love the idea of having a television, so we compromised, me and my partner, and got a frame TV, and the artwork in the frame TV is actually a picture I took at Huntington Library. And my husband is also a landscape designer, so we're always trying to bring plants inside. On the windows, I've created a stained glass film so these are decals and I designed the pattern to be a little bit more funky and fun and colorful, but like still have some white space so it's not too overwhelming. I want to add character. I love old homes. Stained glass is in a lot of old homes, but I know it's not accessible to a lot of people because it's not affordable. So I tried to make it affordable and also removable if you need to move. And I really love when the light shines through and we get that like diffused color throughout the space. And then we bring more of the color down to the ground, which brings us to this ottoman that I designed with uh, vintage illustrations that I collaged together. And then I had a furniture designer in LA help me make this. And it turned out really well. It's got like a lot of botanicals and mushrooms on it. And it's just like another pop of color. It's just really become more warm and welcoming, which brings us to the kitchen. This kitchen when we moved in was very white and sterile, so we wanted to add some color and some warmth. 
we added this green tile, which although it's a color, it feels like a neutral to me, so it's not too loud, but it still adds color. We just wanted a contrast with the white cabinets. I wanted to add color or pop of color to the kitchen island, and because I am a wallpaper designer, I solve a lot of problems with wallpapers. So I designed a wallpaper that's based on these Moroccan tiles and wrapped it around the whole island. And again, however we can add color, this was a great way and a clever way to do it. I just wrapped wallpaper around the whole island and added another little pop. We also installed pendant lights. These were made by an artist in Denmark. I got them off Etsy. I've been eyeing them for a really long time. And I was a little overwhelmed by the yellow color when I opened them, but it's a really nice pop against these white cabinets. Like I can't wait to host a dinner party and just have everyone crowded around the kitchen island and enjoying all the color and the light and the atmosphere. Another place that I've added color is this pantry wall. Again, this was just all white. So this is the stained glass film I sell. A lot of peachy and orange and greens that go with the lampshades and with the green tile. The kitchen is so full of color now, so it went from white box to just like, boom, color overload, which is, is very me and very fun, and my family loves it too. And when I get tired of it or wanna switch it out, I can just pull it, pull it down and add something else. I love that when I stand in my kitchen now, there's just pops of color everywhere. From here, I'm gonna take you up to the bedrooms. This is my daughter's room. My daughter's name is Juniper and she is a big fan of red and owls. So we landed on this rest color because it's more of an earth tone, a little more natural, but it still evokes red and Juniper really, really loves it. And then we installed this pinky clay colored checker and then I drew a red owl and hung it on the wall to include her favorite animal. This room is really appropriate for a five-year-old because it's so colorful, but because the colors are earth tone, it feels like a little bit more sophisticated kid room. This is one of the first rugs I've ever designed. It's floral and it's based on a Moroccan textiles and there's purple, there's yellow, there's orange, there's blue, there's every color in the rainbow, but I really, really love it and I think it's so great for a kid's room. We painted all the furniture we turned her bed into a tent. We hung a disco ball. I don't know. I feel like when I was a little kid, I would have loved a disco ball in my room and it has a little remote so she can turn it on. Aside from the tent bed, she thinks the disco ball is the coolest thing. I was telling my husband last night that this place is finally feeling like home because I'm seeing us more in it. Like our house is definitely looking different than all of our neighbors. In the primary, we decided to go a little more calm with this wood paneling and the more neutral juniper color on the wall to play against the artwork. Of course, I picked up a swatch that I loved and it was called Juniper Breeze. And this is a wallpaper I designed, illustrated after Vasquez Rocks, which is a state park that's nearby in a really beautiful natural area. I drew a state park. I grew up visiting it, so I decided to illustrate it. And there's a lot of desert, there's a lot of juniper there, and one of my favorites. So I feel like we're adding characters that are very specific to us, where we grew up, because James and I both grew up out here. And I feel like it came out really beautifully. The last space I have to show you is where I actually print all my wallpaper. So let's go check it out. This is my garage and my home studio and my workshop and my office and manufacturing facility in one small space. Over here is my printer, it prints my wallpaper, my window film, my contact paper, my labels, it, it does everything for me. It's a beast, it has printed every job that I've produced. It's helped me make so many beautiful things. I hope that my designs are inspiring creativity and possibility. You can make your home you and it doesn't have to look like anyone else's and i think it's really good for my daughter to see that there's different possibilities for work and i think it's really good that she can see that me and my husband are doing jobs that we truly enjoy and we're very passionate about being an artist can be a job as long as you find something you enjoy and you can support yourself you can do whatever you want if you fall into your intuition it kind of works out 
like and subscribe to Handmade for more videos like this.